The days are so over when my watch collection totally sucked. Now it's pretty good. This watch is in the top 10 of all the brands I own. Time to get the review out on the Casio Gravity Master. It is in the Master of G series by Casio. When we do this WRV, that is watch review video here in TMP, we'll start and end at second cool because this is a fabulous looking technical watch by Casio. It doesn't give up a lot in feature set either. And I will have to figure out which ones I want to tell you about and which ones I'm going to go light on because I want to make these WRVs a little bit shorter than they have been. I have five different colorations to show you on the Gravity Master, which is either the GA1100 or the GA1000, depending on which variation you get. Module number will be 5302. Here's a red, white, and blue. Look how beautiful that is. I honestly don't know if my lighting is capturing the colorations of these watches. I hope it is. Yeah, you can see it. I mean, you can tell it's red or orange, but they're very vibrant. And if the brighter colors are not your cup of tea, I get it. I'm with you too at times. I like something more subdued. Look at this gray and black one. Three of these are mine and two are on loan. Look at that. <laughs> it's just cool, man. The Gravity Master. Now, this is designed to capture the mystique, if you will, of piloting. Now, you guys know I'm a retired lieutenant colonel, U.S. Air Force pilot. And, uh, you know, as far as a pilot, piloting thing goes with a Gravity Master, I, I'm just like, okay, whatever, it's a Gravity Master. But don't think for a minute that these features given in this watch are, you know, can only be used if you're a pilot or, honestly, that pilots need the features in here. I think they're more marketing than anything just like a lot of products we talk about here at the table here comes I think this is a 1100 module this is pure black I have this one on loan look at that so if you guys are in the military law enforcement and you can't have a coloration like this this is what you'd go with either that or the gray the gray should blend in a lot of your uniforms dang these are cool watches seriously cool here's another one on loan yeah, five. Uh, I've been working hard prepping for this review, both testing the Gravity Master since last year and also getting a couple extra to show you. Look at this OD one. And this is a module variation because it has a second time zone subdial right here. Now that in flying, in piloting, that is actually pretty cool. Let me turn this other light on. Is that better? Can you see it better? I'm trying to minimize reflections. Yeah, dude, that's so much better. All right, I'll just run it like that. Sorry for any reflections. But this is OD, so that's a really cool tactical military field style watch, the Gravity Master. I'll put links below in the description if I can find them. I have been hearing from TMPers that these watch links sell out pretty fast from the project. Uh, you know, certain vendors just don't carry that many. They're not that predominant. And I do like Amazon for you guys because you can return it and that's what I do. If you don't like it, return it. Uh, eBay too, you can do it. Sometimes a vendor return process there is a lot more laborious and problematic. Let's rock. Philosophy of use, cool factor, gear transparency. Gear transparency, I love. That's a term means that you put it on and you just don't really think about it. It just blends in so quickly, quickly to your systems that you're happy with it. Uh, yeah. The GA1100, GA1000 watches totally do that. They'll be integrated into your system so quickly you won't even think about it that much. They'll just be a part of your daily life. Three ounces is one reason why. They're pretty lightweight, even though they're not exactly thin watches. You can see there is some thickness there. So I would classify bang factor as medium. Bang factor is how much does a watch stick out and how much you want to be banging into it, pretty much. Cool factor is uh, five stars all the way. You can get whatever flavor or whatever coloration you want to suit your mood. Great, great gift watch. Just too many reflections, so I'm going to kill this again. Just a great gift watch. You know, for a military member, uh, all the watches I cover actually could be that way.
Uh, it'll be a favorite, I think, of you guys. And I really want to get this review out because I have been running into TMPers with gear checks. Always check that B channel for those videos. And you've been buying the watches that I've not even reviewed yet. I've just mentioned them in the video and guys are, are, are buying them. And so before you go out and buy a, a ton of maybe the lower end uh, Casios, and this one's going to run about 150 to 200 depending on which version you get, where you get it. Uh, I want to offer some higher end Casios. Remember, in the sliding scale of watch value, we're talking we're still way down here. So maybe some guy was like, well, there's no way I'd spend $150 on a watch. Um, we have this discussion with knives all the time. Really, that's uh, pretty high value. I mean, you're talking guys are running out spending two grand on a watch and not even blinking an eye ever. Uh, these are dually watches if we talk about philosophy of use. So you're going to have an analog presentation, also a repeating negative display LCD, which could be considered a downside because as you can see that's not super visible but like I said the conversation kind of starts and ends at second cool the presentation as far as legibility goes in all the colorations for reading the analog time fantastic I mean it, it, it's I don't ever look at these watches and have to dig the time out at all and the negative display I don't know if it's representing what well here under the LED lighting this is not incandescent lighting I'm showing you these watches under in daytime it's much better much better and I think I have some video of this gray one that I'll roll in when we took it up in the desert mountains um, it's just a really cool looking watch notice that like a lot of the master of G series these are the higher end Casios it's going to have an aluminum underlying bezel ring kind of uh, put into the plastic bezel there that's sick colorations variations and customizing I think I'm giving you a pretty good representation here don't you so these these honestly are my favorite colorations and they're they're going to be more these will discontinue Casio will, will issue other ones it just depends uh, if you see a coloration you like of any of the Casio watches that I review or perhaps some other brands that I'll review you know again move on them because they may be discontinued and what happens is the prices go up so you can get like this orange one for every reason was discontinued and five years from now you saw this video and go oh I really like that orange one you go out well it may not be 150 or whatever it might be 300 we see that all the time with Casio's size lug width weight comfort sweat factor and strap retention we already said it's a three ounce watch we talked about the bang factor comfort is high I will say sweat factor in the summertime is demonstrable how's that for a big term meaning that you will sweat under them they are a big watch I wouldn't say huge but big enough 20 millimeter or 22 millimeter lugs with a proprietary it looks to be a proprietary band but actually that's an overlay right here you could actually put on any 22 millimeter band you just wouldn't have this portion right here and let me flex this to show you exactly what I'm talking about see how that kind of lists so you could throw uh, another band on there and notice that that is a screw through lug so these aren't pins these are heavy duty lugs again this is a higher end Casio Master of G series we would expect it at the somewhat elevated price point it's a double clasp stainless steel clasped here with a single retention band I think this does not hold the band too great sometimes I'll put helicopter tape in there to and it's kind of a pain I have to like use tweezers and what I'm doing is increasing the thickness of that keeper the polymer keeper so this doesn't pop out all the time every watch will have some quirks I would say the quirk on the gravity masters is that that they may flip out somewhat comfort is high though I think it's awesome uh, this is not as big as like a Mudmaster or some of the other Master of G series. Even a Golf Master, these are going to be smaller. Lower bang factor, a little bit thinner. Not much thinner, but they are thinner. Uh, feature set and interface. Uh, I'll go quick on this. Let me use the red, white, and blue one just for the heck of it. Uh, negative display once again. And I hope you guys can see all this. Let me move this light right here. That might help. There you go, that will work. Showing you the negative display. Trying to minimize the reflections too. I may get an incandescent light set up for these WRVs. But we'll start out here at the home screen. Again, you have a very legible analog display. 
Notice the three-dimensional markers with your hands. Notice the contrast with the hands. A different color of second hand in every version. So if we go to the orange one here, see the different colors? You got a blue accent on the gray and yellow, which I really love. That gray and yellow is just so cool. And then you have an indicator dial in the, see this is a variation right here, but in these ones, a typical Gravity Master, it will be shaped like an aircraft. So that's going to point to your function. It's kind of hard for me to see. It really is because it's small lettering as you can see. It'll point. It's more of a style cue. Again, the airplane motif coming into play. But then here's your day date. Super quick. You can cycle through those like that. There's a repeating time display negative, of course. And then we come out to the lower left actuation button as I always call it to get the right angle there's world time one thing i don't like about the world time is that unlike some other casio models it's not going to like slew to a time zone the second hand it's actually done right here and it'll just go through your different time zones but it's not reversible with the upper right button so in other modules we see that we could go back to la mountain time but now it's unidirectional that's a little bit obnoxious so i got to go all the way around there's no way for me to back it up in module 5302 that I know of, unless I'm missing something. Now this, by the way, I said it was a variation of the module. It is. It's just like the OD one. It's a repeating time display, and you can set a completely different time there, which you won't have to actuate any buttons. You just look down at the subdial, and you can say, oh, Zulu time or Greenwich Mean Time would be set, for instance, if you're flying. That, that actually is a useful pilot function right there. So that's world time. I think this has a flow through button so we can press and hold. And notice it jumps back to, in this module, to our regular time. So we did world time, there's stopwatch. There's time remaining, that's easy to set up. I have it set for 16 minutes. Here's your alarms. And this is bi-directional so we can go through the different alarms. It's got like three alarms. Uh, let's see, I'm pressing right one, there we go. Alarm four, signal, no snooze. I never use that anyhow. And let's listen to the alarm sound. Standard Casio, pretty much. And then we'll turn it off and on with this upper left button. There's your alarm. And that's it. Now the Gravity Master is of course twin sensor. With this version, this module 5302, you're gonna get temperature actuated by the lower right set for celsius or fahrenheit of course and then you'll get a compass middle button left compass is probably more useful i have used a compass feature in all my casio watches occasionally not all the time because we're all armed with smart watches this isn't 1999 anymore <laughs> uh, temperature is okay but it's on your wrist like we talked about it's not going to read that great i got to go back to this and then that to get it back to temperature. But it's there, and I don't think you're paying a lot more to have that twin sensor function. It does have an auto light display. And let's look at the illumination on these. These are pretty cool, actually. Look at this. Oh, that couldn't have shown up any better. Dang, so you can set your illumination for one to three seconds. The hands are pretty good. There's better loom in a lot of different watches, of course. You're usually going to pay a premium for those. And there's some different colorations that you'll get. It's kind of a neon black light thing in the Gravity Master and all the different modules. Remember I told you it's first and most mostly second cool with this? Look at the second hand, how that's illuminated. And then you can see the, the jet in the background illuminated. <laughs> it's just such a cool watch. I uh, just love this watch. It's very, very cool.